Hello and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I will share supply with you. That is what is supply, the difference between stock and supply, factors affecting supply, individual supply schedule, and how to derive the individual supply curve, market supply schedule, and how to derive the market supply curve. Let us see first the difference between supply and stock. Stock of a commodity is the total amount available with the producers. That is whatever amount a producer produces, that is the stock of a commodity. The supply is a part of stock which is offered for sale in the market. Maybe the producer is, is expecting a rise in price, then the supply will be less. It will be a part of stock. The producer will not supply the entire stock. The producer will keep it for so that when the price rises, it will supply, he will supply more. So supply is always a part of stock. Now let us see what is the definition of supply. The amount of a good that different firms are able and willing to offer for sale at different possible prices is termed as supply. Able and willing, that is the producer should be able to produce and should be willing to offer for sale. If the producer always keeps a stock, maybe the producer is always able to, but he is not willing to. So when you, whenever we are writing the definition of supply, we should always say able and willing to offer for sale. And at different possible prices is very important when we are writing the definition of supply. So supply is the amount of a good that different firms are able and willing to offer for sale at different possible prices. This is supply. Now let us see what are the factors affecting supply. So the first and a very important factor is price of the product. Now, these are the factors, price expectation, number of firms, prices of related commodities, nature of commodity, government policy, technology, goal of firm, prices of inputs. I will discuss them one by one in details. The first is price of the good. Now, if the price of the good increases, the supply will rise because the producer will supply more in the market if the price increases. And if the price decreases, the supply will fall because they will earn less profit if price decreases. Next is prices of inputs. Inputs can be raw materials. Inputs can be machines which are used to produce things. And it can also be workers. Now, if prices of inputs are rising, the profit will fall. The producer will tend to earn less of profit and the supply will fall. Next is technology. If there's an improvement in technology, the cost of production will fall. And if the cost of production falls, the supply will rise. Next is government policy, taxes, reduce supply and subsidies, increase supply. If the government imposes taxes, the, there will be an increase in the cost of production of the producers. They will tend to supply less in the market. And if the government gets, gives subsidy to the producers, there will be a decrease in the cost of production. The supply will increase. Now, if the number of producers selling same type of product increases, the supply will rise. If more and more number of producers are coming to the market and they're producing the same type of product, the supply will rise because more and more number of producers have come to the market. Next is price expectation. If price is expected to rise in future, the producer will hold the commodity or store the commodity so that when the price rises in future, they will supply more, but at present, the supply will decrease. Next is goals of the firm. The goal can be of three types, profit maximization, sales maximization, risk minimization. Now, if the objective of the firm is to earn more profit, then they will supply more because the more they supply, the more they can earn profit. And if the objective of the firm is sales maximization, then also they will supply more. They will produce more, they will sell more. And if the goal of the producer is to minimize risk, they will play safe and they will produce a very smaller quantity of a commodity. Prices of related commodities, now, producers always have the possibility of shifting from the production of one commodity to the production of another commodity. Now, if prices of other commodities are rising, 
when the price of the commodity and the question remains constant producers will always find it more profitable to produce and sell other commodities i will give you an example for example a farmer can always grow various vegetables on a given piece of land now if price of peas rise farmers will supply more peas rather than producing cabbage because the farmer was initially producing cabbage now he will shift from the production of cabbage to production of peas because price of peas has rose so prices of related commodities also affects the supply so peas supply will increase the nature of the commodity whether the industry is monopolized or competitive now what is monopolized and competitive if there is only one firm producing the entire commodity then that industry or that market is monopolized market and if the, there are many firms producing the same commodity then that market or industry is competitive market if the industry is monopolized one firm will produce the entire commodity then the that monopolist firm will always like to restrict the output so that the market price rises if the producer supplies less in the market the price will automatically rise because the demand will be higher so if industry is monopolized supply is less but if the industry is competitive that is there are many firms there so many firms so all firms will produce more the supply will increase now let us see what is individual supply schedule for any producer indicates different quantities supplied per period by the producer at different possible or probable prices of that commodity it is basically a table for which there is price and quantity supply so at price 1 a producer is willing to supply two units at price 2 that is when the price is increasing the quantity supplied by the producer increases to four units and so on individual supply schedule is basically a table in which we have prices and quantity supplied by a single producer since it is individual now let us derive the individual supply curve we measure price on the vertical axis and quantity supplied on the horizontal axis an individual supply curve is defined as the curve which shows various quantities of a given commodity which an individual producer is willing to supply at different prices during a given period of time so we will get the curve after plotting the table of the individual supply schedule and let us first plot now at price one the producer is willing to supply two units so we get this point when the price rises to 2 the producer will supply 4 units at price 3 the producer will supply 6 units because the price is 3 here and supplied quantity supplied is 6 units at price 4 quantity supplied is 8 units at price 5 quantity supplied is 10 units now we will join these points and we will get the supply curve of the individual producer so this is the individual supply curve it shows various quantities of a given commodity at different possible prices during a given period of time no market supply curve is the total combined supply by all producers in the market for a good or service when we add the supply of all the producers for a particular good or service we say that is it is market supply you should remember that it is for a particular good not for all goods but it is by all producers for simplicity we have considered two suppliers or two producers s1 and s2 will be the supply curves of two producers so and for simplicity we have taken only two prices p1 and p2 now at price p2 quantity supply is q1 so we get this point and when the prices rise to p1 we get q1 prime as a quantity supplied by producer 1 and when we join these two points we get supply curve of producer 1 now for producer 2 also price p1 and p2 will remain the same and for market supply curve also p1 and p2 will remain the same only the quantity supplied will change now at price p2 the quantity supplied by producer 2 is q2 and here we get this point at p1 price q2 prime and when we join them we get 
S2 curve, that is supply curve of the second producer. Now, when we add horizontally at the same price, at price P2, we get this quantity Q1 plus Q2, and at price P1, we get the quantity supplied as Q1 prime plus Q2 prime. And when we join them, we get the market supply curve. And market supply curve is always flatter. So market supply curve is a horizontal summation of the individual supply curves. And we take the sum of the quantities supplied by producers at each price. That is, we add the quantities supplied horizontally. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, kindly subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can watch more videos when I upload them. Bye-bye. Have a great time.